Hello all, having seen paging in the previous class, now we move on to the next topic which is nothing but we will see uh, what is the structure of a page table. We have already seen a page table and we have seen that page table will act as an intermediary between converting a logical address into a physical address. Now we will see what are the different ways in which you can maintain a page table. Now coming to today's session, we will be seeing what is the basic need for various structures of a page table. And these are the different uh, structures how we can go for maintaining a page table hierarchical, hashed, and inverted. Now, coming to the need of it, what is the basic need of uh, maintaining different structures of a page table? Why can't we go for a unique uh, structure of a page table? Now, we'll go for an example here. We have a 32 bit virtual address and we are using 4KB as the size of your page. Now, when you go for your page size, when I go for representing in the power of 2, it is nothing but 2 part 12 bytes of pages are being maintained. And coming to your logical address, as we have seen, it is 32 bit and the ad virtual address space would be 2 power 32. So, 2 power 32 minus what is the page size you are going for 2 part 12, which is dealing up 2 part 20. So, when you want to maintain this much of data in a page table, it uh, accumulates up to 1 million of entries. So, just imagine how you maintain a page table with 1 million entries. And we have seen that I need to either maintain a page table in registers, we can even go for maintaining them in a main memory, or I can even maintain it in the form of a catchy. So, whether you go for any of these techniques, maintaining these many entries in a page table is not feasible. So, we go for different techniques or structures how we go for maintaining this page table. So, the coming to the first technique here or the method, we go for maintaining it in hierarchical paging. As the name implies, hierarchical paging, we can even call it as multi-level paging, where the page table will not be one. You break up the page table into two parts and you go call it as outer page table and the inner page table and this is your actual physical memory. So, you need to establish a link from outer page table to your inner page table and finally to the actual memory location where you want to retrieve the data. Now, we'll take an example and see how to maintain in this multi-level paging or hierarchical paging. We'll take an example where here where the virtual address or a logical address is one and the same. It is of 32 KB and the page size is 1 KB. So, here 1 KB when I represent in the power of 2 power, it has to be represented in 2 power 10 and 1 can be represented in 2 power 0. So, 2 power 0 into 2 power 10, so which will be summed up to 2 power 10. So, 10 bytes or 10 bits will be used for your offset value. Similarly, when you see this 32 bit logical address, out of 32 bit logical address, you know the total logical address when you go for representing a logical address. Logical address is a combination of your page number plus your offset. So, what is the total logical address 32 bits and you know by calculation that your offset value is 10. So, the remaining value of your page number can be represented using 22 bits. So, that 22 bits is now split up into two parts. This is your outer page and this is your inner page where outer page contains 12 bits means two part 12 combinations. And your inner page contains 2 part 12 and this is your displacement. So, here this forms your two level paging. Now, when you see the actual mapping of your logical address and this is your physical address. So, the given logical address which is represent in the form of two levels. P1 will be used for mapping into your outer page table. Depending on the value you are getting of it, you will be mapping, taking a value and map it onto your inner page table. And finally, based on your displacement value, you get the data out of your physical memory. So, this just gives you a mapping between your logical address and the physical address of two level. We'll continue with the same example where you have 64 bit logical address, right? And here my page size is 4 KB. So, when you go for representing your 4 KB page size, it can be represented as 2 part 2, which is nothing but 4, and KB can be represented in the form of 2 part 10. So, this would be 2 part 12. So, 12 bits are used for your displacement. So, the total logical address is of your 64 out of which 12 are being used for your displacement. So, left out value would be 52. So, 52 can be split up into two parts where it is 42 and 10 as of your previous case where it is two level paging. 
but just think when you go for 42 what is the amount of uh, entries you need to store it in your page table it is 2 power 42 which is very difficult right so what we do is we go for make breaking that particular page into multiple parts again where we go for three level paging so in place of three level paging outer table first outer table contains 32 bits second outer table contains 10 bits and this is your inner table and finally your displacement so depending on the specified logical address and the scheme and the page size you either decide whether you go for two level or three level paging so this is your hierarchical or multi-level paging Moving on to the next technique or the next uh, structure of the page table, we go for hashed page table. Now, when we go on to your hashed page table here, we have same as your logical address. So, here logical address is your page number and this is your offset value. This happens to be your page number and this is your offset. So, instead of normally maintaining a table, here we'll maintain a hash table. And you all know hashing, we generally go for maintaining hash table because you want easy search. So, on the page number, you apply a hash function and uh, normally we go for using modulus operator. So, the reminder value will be used as input to your hash table and the output of it, you will get a value and that particular value will be linked up with all your linked list. So, these are all your linked list where each of your linked list contains three parts. The first part would be your page number. The second part is nothing but your frame number. And the third part in your link list here is nothing but the address of your next. So, it is your next pointer. So, this P3 will be input to your hash function. You get a no value. And this P3 will be compared with P1. So, since it is not matching, you move on to the next address. Now, since there is a match of this P3 with this particular P3, you take out the second value from the link list. So, what is the second value from the link list? A frame number. So, this particular frame number along with your displacement value, now you get a physical address and this physical address is used as input to your memory where you actually retrieve the data related to that particular frame. So, this is how you maintain the second page structure which is nothing but hashed page structure. Now, we move on to the next one which is nothing but inverted page table. So, when you go for your inverted page table here, First, we'll see an example here. For example, I have a process and this particular process has 100 pages. You have divided your process into 100 pages and all the 100 pages are not in the main memory. So, only 50 of them are being put up. I mean to say you have allocated 50 frames. So, 50 pages are being into present in 50 frames, but you need to maintain a page table and that page table should contain all the locations so you have your pages 0 to 100 and against each page number you need to mention the frame number so if i here if i just write a value 7 it indicates that your page 0 is present in frame 7 but some of the pages may not be even allocated the main memory so in that case you will be just making it as 0 indicating that it is an invalid bit because it is not presented since it is present in your main memory we make it as valid and you just write a frame number so, even though out of 100 pages, only 50 of them are put up into your main memory, but you need to maintain a page table where it has all the entries of the pages, though they are present in the main memory or not. And same would be the case when I go for 1000 pages also or 10,000 pages also. So, you are just storing the data, though it is not allotted a frame. To avoid that particular problem, they have gone for an inverted page table. So, what we do in inverted page table is assume if I have two process, P1 and P2 with 20 pages each. And it has only 5 pages allotted to 5 frames. And this has around some 10 pages which are being given to 10 frames. So, normally after when we are seeing the previous two method, we know that I need to maintain a page table 1 for process 1, page table 2 from process 2. But when I go for structured invert, uh, sorry, inverted page table, you need not go for maintaining two page tables here. I will maintain only a single page table and this particular page table will contain only the entry of the pages for which a frame is being allocated. So, here I will have five frames related to process P1, 
and 10 particular pages or frames which are been allotted to P2. So this particular page table is not confined to a particular process. This is related to a process page table for all the process whoever pages are present in the main memory. So that's the reason when you just see the structure of the page table here, the logical address will be represented by three bits. Your process ID because you need to know which pro which particular page is related to which process and the displacement. Till now we have seen only two fields in your uh, logical address. One is your page number, the other is your offset value. But here we have three fields. First field is pertaining to the process number to which the page belongs to and the displacement value and this PID or the process ID will be input to your page table. Uh, so this process ID and the page number will be compared. If both of them are matching, then you get a value I of it and which becomes your frame number. So this is nothing but your frame number along with the displacement. You get the physical address which is used for getting the data from your physical memory. So inverted page table will contain the data related to multiple process but not to a single process. So whatever techniques we have been seeing till now they are used to store huge amount of page table data without disturbing the original structure of the page table. Now we will move on to the next topic of demand paging in the next class.